and welcome to Calling All Christians. My name is Mike, and today is March 15, 2022. I'm going to give you a few words to think about. If you can believe that these are the words of Jesus to two women in 1932, then uh, you'll be able to understand what it says. If you don't believe it, of course, I'll just pray for you, because I do believe it. It happened to me, and uh, it's uh, the Lord is real, and he's right here with us, and has been from the beginning of time. Okay, the words he said were this. Remember my words to my disciples. This kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Because his disciples at one time couldn't cure a boy. And they went to Jesus and asked him why. And that's what he said. So some people that we want to help, we're only going to help them by praying for them and fasting for them. The one that does the curing is the Spirit of the Lord. And um, everybody has to realize that. He goes on to say, can you tread the way I trod? Can you drink of my cup? All is well. Say always, all is well. And this was a one of the uh, daily inspirations that... Uh, my wife, who has passed away now, uh, we used to read this every day. And uh, when I had my heart attack, and I was in the hospital, we were both saying this all as well. And I, I passed away at that point, but they brought me back because I had more to do for the Lord. And uh, it's a great saying because really, when you're with Jesus and with the Spirit and with the Father, all is well. There can be nothing wrong, even though in our flesh world, we see lots wrong. But in the spirit world, there is nothing wrong. Everything is peace, love, and joy. That's, unless your eyes and ears are open, I don't think people can really see that. Not that they don't believe and have faith, and I encourage everyone, you must believe and you must have faith right till the end. And if your eyes and ears aren't open, that's very difficult to do, but you, you know, this is why we go to, you know, people who try to encourage us and keep us on that path of faith and belief and trust in Jesus. He says, he says, long though the way may seem, there is not one inch too much. I, your Lord, am not only with you on the journey, I planned and am planning the journey. So everything that happens has already been planned by him. Sometimes we make the wrong choices and he has to redo the plan. But it will be his plan. And he puts things in front of us. And when we make the right choice, he's very happy. When we make the wrong choice, he has to readjust. Just like our phone GPSs. You know, when you take a wrong turn, it has to take you back a different route. But you're going back to the same place. Okay, so he's trying to get us to heaven, and he's going to get us there. If we listen to him. If we don't, he still tries. And when we start listening to him, again, it makes him very joyous. So he goes on to say, there are joys unspeakable in the way you go. Courage, courage, courage. Now he's speaking to two women in 1932. We're all brothers and sisters. Well, brothers and sisters. <laughs> so these things he said to them apply to many, many of us. You know, some of them are individually to them. But they can apply to us too. Because there's no division in Christ. All the things that he told us how to live, he wants us all to live that way. And we can. All we have to do is listen, trust, and obey. And we can do that. Um, I hope you had a good day. And in the flesh world, you might not have had a good day. But try to remember, as he said, 
you must say all is well. Even when things aren't going right. To you, they're not going right. But to him, he's planned the journey. So they are going right. So he wants you to say all is well. All is well. Even when it seems not so. I tell everybody, you say, thank you, Jesus. For whatever's happening, even if it's bad. If it's good, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. It's the only way to live, folks. Read your Bible every day. Try to gather with uh, fellow Christians every day. Uh, I know we don't do that. We've gotten away from that. Unfortunately, and uh, maybe we can we, we can go back to it anytime we want. We're going to make that choice. And no matter where you are in this world, all you have to do is gather a few friends around and say, hey, let's meet every day. Let's get together and have a lunch every single day. I know a few groups that meet pretty much every day. They miss a day here and there. But their hearts were they wish they could meet every day. But the devil is working on them, trying to put those obstacles in their path. But the Lord knows them, and he knows they're faithful, and they believe, and they trust him. And he's an all-forgiving God. He will forgive us. He knows our hearts, and he knows what we want to do. We don't always get it done, but he knows it. He loves us more than we can ever imagine. Have a great day. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. And maybe I'll do another one tonight. All right. Peace, love, and joy to all of you. Bye-bye now.